Major Christian Highstand, an Air Force instructor who repeatedly told his family no one would listen to him. He kept saying, I don't know how I'm going to recover from the stigma. Last December, Highstand was charged with two counts of sexual assault involving a civilian woman with whom he had only days before ended a short-term relationship. She alleged on two occasions she had been drinking and did not consent to sex. A lawyer for the Highstand family says military police rushed to judgment, refused to look at text messages between Highstand and the complainant, messages Highstand claimed proved his innocence. His family says he was isolated by the military and distraught before he took his own life. I think that had just the military police just questioned him, asked him, let him be heard for give his side, give his evidence, I think I'd have a brother today. The Department of National Defense is conducting an internal professional conduct review of the military police officer who handled the case. But the family wants an independent watchdog, the Military Police Complaints Commission, to investigate, something that can't happen while DND's investigation remains open. DND officials declined to be interviewed, but in a statement said military police conduct their investigations in a thorough and professional manner. This expert agrees an independent investigation is needed. If the trust is lost, we will have a hard time to find people, both on the survivor and the acute side, to really believe in the system and its fairness. In the civilian system, recent changes have made it less common for investigators to talk to a suspect before charging them. They don't have an obligation, as the law is currently understood, at the stage of uh, investigation and charging to go talk to the accused. But when it comes to the military, there is debate on that point. Lawyers with military experience say military service and justice are unique and that investigators cannot disregard relevant avenues of inquiry. Murray Brewster, CBC News, Ottawa.